Oh man, another speed feed failure with this stinking spring and cap falling apart. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just doing some more lawn work and I had to fix my weed whacker and I have a little hack. It's, this is a non car related video anyways, but I have a little hack that I'm going to do. It's not my hack, it's something I read online to do for your speed trimmer to keep it from wearing down and prematurely falling apart. So I'll show you what happened to my original uh, speed trimmer thing and how it fell apart just from rubbing on the ground too much and then I'm going to show you a quick hack to prevent it from happening or at least not prevent it but at least uh, reduce the effects of it from happening as you uh, use this thing more. So what we have here is the original speed feed trimmer I had on here and this is not even the actual branded one it's just a little cheap $12, $13 one I bought on Amazon so I've been using it for the last year and a half, two years and this used to be all solid and it kind of just fell apart as I kept on trimming it and uh, wearing down on the concrete and when I go around the edges and the actual center has supposed to have a spring it kind of fell through because it wore right through that center so what you could do to prevent that on this is a replacement one I bought and this one's actually huge compared to that other one I bought and this one is actually it's a speed feed. It's supposed to be the Echo, a copy of the Echo Speed Feed 450 or 400 or one of those speed feeds. But it's, yeah, look at the size difference between this and the one I bought before, which I also thought was an Echo copy, but apparently is a different model. But yeah, this one's much bigger. But what you do is you just drill a hole here. You put a, a screw and a washer through here, and it helps uh, take most of that wear before it gets down to the metal and wears a hole in it where you don't want it. So what I got here is um, some 5 16 a 5 16 inch diameter nut, two washers, and then two nuts. One is going to be the one that holds it on and one's going to be the lock nut in case this thing spins and comes loose. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to end up doing that. I'm going to drill the hole right through here through the cap and just put it through. So that was a pretty easy mod right there. You can see the got the nut in there with the washer on it and it's holding pretty strong. On the inside it clears the spring, it's centered. There was that, that little lip that holds the spring in that kind of got my washer all kind of out of place. So I might end up, I might loosen that up and maybe adjust that a little bit because it's looking kind of funky right now. I didn't notice that when I was unscrewing it down. So I found this little star washer that uh, I'm going to end up having to use to go right there between the nut and here and then I'm gonna put that lock nut on top and maybe I'll put that other washer on top of that so that way it holds better. We got this pretty much installed. It's on, it's on a reverse thread, so you gotta be careful with that when you put it in through the stud. I ended up putting it in correctly and then I held it back here and I just tightened it by hand. Since it's a reverse thread, it should be fine since uh, when you spin it, it actually locks itself. Here's the old one that I took apart. Not much to it left. Uh, you know, might salvage that string. This did come with like this extra spacer, depending on the weed whacker you have, and then another threaded nipple head here. I think this is a different size thread. It might be a forward thread. I'm, this one is the forward thread one so in case I guess if you have one that uh, spins the other direction for some reason you could use a forward thread instead of a reverse thread. But anyway that's uh, pretty much it. 
All right, thanks guys for watching that quick DIY on some of my lawn equipment. Uh, you know, this is not my usual content on this channel, but you know, I do stuff around the house, so I just like to post it. Anyways, if you guys like this type of content or just my car content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll talk to you guys next time.